everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou and welcome to the first of the new series um, that I'm starting to basically do a little bit of storytelling while I'm doing other things. Um, this is going to be um, a seasonal series probably which I'm beginning with winter um, I'm going to be reading to you a really lovely public domain story that's very I would say nature lore inspired by Dallas Lore Sharp who was an author from Haleyville New Jersey and was alive from 1870 to 1929 um, the story that we'll be reading will be winter and I'm going to be doing this series with a couple of activities which I've added hashtags here for stitch story and paper story I'll be adding those hashtags to the description um, of the video in the title so you'll know what I'll be doing while I'll be doing this reading um, I'd recommend if you want to follow the story that you would be tuning into both of those anyhow but it will just give you kind of a preview of what I'm doing that day um I'll be working on different things, uh, stitching for another project and another series that I'm doing or potentially collaging, um, working with paper scraps to use them up, those sort of things. These will be kind of like, um, not ASMR, but sort of just slow TV kind of videos where I will be doing probably a voiceover while I'm working because I don't pretend to be able to do two things at once. <laughs> so I hope you'll join me listen to this winter story um, just relax and work on something with me if it's your stitching or you're a knitter or a spinner or a paper artist um, yeah I'd love to have you here so I hope that you will enjoy this introduction and this first little bit of our story so curl up by the fire have a seat at a comfy chair get yourself a beverage and just relax um, Thanks again and enjoy. As in the fall of the year, so here is winter, the second volume of this series. I have tried by story and sketch and suggestion to catch the spirit of the season. In this volume, it is the large, free, strong, fierce, wild soul of winter, which I would catch. The bitter boreal might that out of doors drives all before it that challenges all that is wild and fierce and strong and free and large within us till the bounding red blood belts us like an equator and the glow of all the tropics blooms upon our faces and down into the inmost of our beings winter within us means vitality and purpose and throbbing life and without us in our fields and woods it means widened prospect the storm of battle the holiness of peace the poetry of silence and darkness and emptiness and death and i have tried throughout this volume to show that winter is only a symbol that death is only an appearance that life is everywhere and that everywhere life dominates even while it lies buried under the winding sheet of the snow a simple child that lightly draws its breath what shall it know of death why this at last that the winter world is not dead that the cold is powerless to destroy that life flees and hides and sleeps only to waken again forever stronger than death fresher fairer sweeter for its long winter rest but first of all and always i have tried here to be a naturalist and nature lover pointing out the sounds and sights the things to do the places to visit and how and why that the children may know the wildlife of winter and through that knowledge come to love winter for its own sake and they will love it winter seems to have been made especially for children they do not have rheumatism let the old people hurry off down south but turn the children loose in the snow the sight of a snowstorm affects a child as the smell of catnip affects a cat. He wants to roll over and over and over in it, and he should roll in it. The snow is his element, as it is a polar bear cub's. I love the winter, and so do all children. Its bare fields, empty woods, flattened meadows, its ranging landscapes, its stirless silences, its tumult of storms, its crystal nights with stars new cut in the glittering sky, its challenge, defiance, and mighty wrath. I love its wildlife, its birds and animals, the shifts they make to conquer death. And then, out of the winter watching, I love the gentleness that comes, the sympathy, the understanding. One gets very close to the heart of nature through such understanding. Dallas Lore Sharp, 
Mullen Hill, March 1912.